My name is Squiggly Peter, and I love my fish and chips. I love that salt and vinegar, what dribbles down me lips. And when I'm out there pirating, my pencil in my hand, I draw myself whatever I need or whatever comes to hand. Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, are the pirate. Hi, my name's Martin Harvey, creator of The Boy with the Saucepan Hat and Squiggly Pete the Pirate. Arr. And today we're going to be drawing, well actually we'll be scanning geese into Photoshop. So, here's my magic pencil, let's draw. Okay, so once we've uh, drawn and painted our little geese, or some say they look like ducks, um, I'm going to show you how we scan them and pop them into the picture that I uh, drew them for. Okay, so here I have Photoshop. I'm going to open up the picture I'm going to use, and that is here. The boathouse, number 07C. <coughs> then I'm going to open up my scanning software. Right, so there's the picture we're going to put it into. So I'm going to save that. I have my own little numbering convention. There we go. So that's saved as a new file. And I'm going to open up my scanning software. I'm using a Canon TS5051 inkjet printer scanner copier, in case anyone's interested. Um, I've been using it for over a year, and it's a great little workhorse. <clears throat> so first I preview it like this and then we just select the area we're going to scan. There's my geese. Yep, happy with that. 300 dpi <clears throat> and adjust the colour and contrast a little bit. We're ready to go. So click scan. <clears throat> it takes a little while because this is an A4. 300 dpi. <clears throat> there we go. Good. Name that file geese. Pop it in my squiggly peat folder along with all the other drawings for the book. Copy it to here. I'm doing the work. And where's it gone? There we go. <clears throat> this Squiggly Pete playing guitar, sharks, cats, birds. Got all sorts in here. Right, let's find those geese. Oh, there we go. I'm going to open that with Photoshop. And there's my geese, nicely scanned. Now I'm going to save this as a working Photoshop file. There we go. And now, which goose shall we use first? Let's have this little fella up here. So I'm going to just roughly cut him out with my lasso tool. Copy and paste in using keyboard shortcuts with my magic wand. Cut out the white bits. Select the inverse of that. Copy and paste. And there we go. There's our first little goose cut out. Ready to pop in. Now I think I'll do all the others while we're here. So select my lasso tool. Copy, paste. Oops. Have to remember to make the background unlocked. Let's try again. Okay, copy, paste.
paste. There we go. Here's my magic wand tool to select all the white, which I don't need. So the inverse of that, copy and paste. There we go. There's our second little fella. Suddenly we've got geese everywhere. This is fun. And our third little goose. Copy and paste. There we go. Magic wand tool. Select inverse. Copy and paste. I'm doing this very quickly because I use keyboard shortcuts. I've been using Photoshop for a few years and I find it's well worth learning the, taking the time to learn the keyboard shortcuts because it will certainly speed up everything you do. Here we go. That's that little chap. Whoops. He's turned upside down. And this one here. Copy, paste, magic wand, select, select inverse, copy and paste that. There we go. How long did that take? About a minute to do the whole lot. Okay, copy, paste, magic wand, select the inverse, copy and paste. And there's our final duck, so we've got six ducks to play with. Right, so now I'm going to open these in separate windows in Photoshop and just drag and drop and we can have fun with these you see so let's take this little fella here we pop him there now obviously he looks like a giant dinosaur because he's scanned at a high resolution and um, we don't need it quite that high let's put him there in the background there was a little bit of white there I forgot to get rid of let's delete that Okie dokie. And who else shall we have? I like this fella. Where is he? Here we go. Yes, look at that pterodactyl. Pop him down to size. Let's have this little chap. I fancy putting him here. So I have to say, hey, Squiggly Pete, what's going on? Right, and one more. No, we don't want too many geese actually. So there we go. So we've got six geese. I'll just save that file. And here's our working uh, picture. So I've got them there. So I'm going to save that in case I want to come back and mess around with them at that size. Save it as a new file and then I'm free to do what I want with these geese. So we'll shrink this little chap back a bit, put him in the background there. Now he's right on the gutter of the page, right? Um, so we'll probably lose him anyway, him or her. I don't know what colourings they are. Well, I don't gender they are. Here we go. So, uh, that works quite nicely actually, that breaks up that big sp space here, although because of the high contrast they do stand out, they look like they are just stuck on, so I'll probably scale back the, there we go, you see, scale back the opacity a little, which you can do very easily in Photoshop, like that, see there he is, disappeared into the fog, coming back, uh, foggy, back, simple little trick there, we don't want them sticking out too much. Don't want them fading away too much either. Um, and this chap here in the foreground, cheekily after those fish and chips, I think. Yes, I like him there. Look at that. Nice goose. Or some would say duck. Right in the middle of the scene. Okay, so there it is. It's as simple as that. So there we go. From pencil and ink on watercolour paper through to uh, adding some colour with the water paper, scanning, popping in there, and he's ready to print. Great, well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll be doing a little bit of another uh, demonstration on the next spread later. Bye. <laughs>
My name is Squiggly Peter, and I loves my fish and chips. I love that salt and vinegar, what dribbles down me lips. And when I'm out there pirating, my pencil in my hand, I draw myself whatever I need or whatever comes to hand. Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Pete, Pete are the pirate.